today I'm going to show you how to take apart a pump wave and put it back together. First thing first, you want to make sure that the electricity and the water are completely shut off from the system. After you've isolated the electricity and the water, you want to remove the faceplate of the pump wave. You do this by removing the four bolts that hold it together. Once you remove the bolts, take off the faceplate. Now, we're going to adjust the cut-in pressure of the pump wave system. To adjust the cut-in pressure, you want to use a flathead screwdriver, insert it in the hole here, and adjust accordingly. Turn it to the right to increase the cut-in, turn it to the left to decrease the cut-in. Once you've adjusted the cut-in pressure accordingly, you want to remount the faceplate, reattach the nuts and bolts, And now we're good to go. So, we're going to turn the power back on, and we're going to turn the water back on. Now once we've adjusted the water and the power, we're going to open up all our valves. We've got water going to the pump. We've opened up our drain. The pump wave is running, the pump is running, water is flowing through the system. Let's say, for example, that this tank goes dry. Once this tank runs dry, no water will be running through the pump. In order to prevent the pump from dry running, the pump wave device will send a signal to the pump and shut the pump off. This will prevent it from dry running and burning up the pump over. Once we've refilled the system, and resupply the pump with water, you can come back and press the reset button again. This will allow the pump to restart and operate accordingly. Alright, pump's out of here. One other thing I wanted to tell you was when you had your pump wave installed with the pressure tank, you want to make sure that you adjust the pressure tank recharge pressure to 0.2 or 2 psi below the cut in pressure of the pump wave device. You do that by removing the air valve cap. Checking the pressure with the pressure gauge and then letting air or adding air accordingly. While this is running, there's electricity and there's water flowing into the system. We always tell you do not run or check the recharge pressure until the tank is completely drained of water. If you have any questions, please visit our website www.globalwatersystems.com or contact any of your local water dealer or distributor accordingly. That's all for today.